favorite ice cream would you be? I think I'd go for goody goody gumdrops because I'm full of surprises. Oh, <laughs> uh, I think I'd be boysenberry because um, I actually grew up Wait in till she gets a load of this party trip that oh, I've got going, going on here. Oh, hey Chris. I see you can wiggle your ears. <laughs> nice. And I guess that's why I'd have to say, after dinner mint. <laughs> ah, Sonia. That's great to hear. But, on the other hand, I went to Rob Roy and they have this new okay. shop dip. Okay. Girls usually pick up on this thing the first time around. She must have her own stuff going on at the moment. Maybe she'll notice when I do a big. Hey, is that? Yes. Yes. It's Jim. Jim from work. Hey, Sonia. How are you? I'm good. What? How could this be? How is Jim from work eclipsing my parlor trick? Right. I better put some sweat into it. Oh, so that was Jim. Anyway, so. Whoa, would you look at that? Y yeah? Yeah? Is that mole precancerous? I had one just like it in year 11. Are you freaking kidding me? Maybe I just need to draw some more attention to it. So the governor of Tanzania wouldn't let us keep the rubies, of course, unless we paid for it in blood, which we were not prepared to do. Sonia, Imagine if you can hear me, so we left. ask we me about know, the we ears. We into this cavernous hole, and it was long and dark, and there were bats everywhere. And that's when I politely asked Catherine Zeta-Jones if she could pass me the wrench. Enough! Unbeknownst to you, I have been wriggling my ears all bloody night. And you, you cock-eyed sow, have not once commented, inquired, or complimented me on my special skill. I am afraid I can come to no other conclusion that I am in the company of a complete imbecile. I will be going now. I will not pay for my Fanta, and I will not be returning. I say, good day, you wretch!